This tutorial is an introduction to linear regression. There is an x variable which is present in the x axis and a y variable which is present in the y axis. The x axis holds independent variable and y axis holds dependent variable now the question is what is independent variable let us take the example salary of the user and dependent variable means purchasing capacity of the user what it means it means purchasing capacity of user depends on the salary of the user if we create a relationship between the x and y variable we can see a straight line here in the next video I will explain you what it means now the independent variable there is the salary of the user if increase and dependent variable that is purchasing capacity of the user also increase a positive slope will be created on the other hand if the independent variable that is salary in case but the dependent variable purchasing capacity decrease it will create a negative relationship in linear regression if you create a line here so this line is a straight line and this line is the key now I will take some observations and some randomly will select some points so if we place one straight line which is called as a regression line this line will be best fit and this regression line based upon least square method now we need to observe here the estimated point and the actual point what is the difference the difference is called as error So the most important point is here we need to minimize these errors now let's try to understand the regression functions so independent variable age salary and purchasing capacity is the dependent variable so if salary increases and the purchasing capacity also increases it will create a positive relationship that is positive slope so the function will be y is equal to b0 plus b1 x so here so y represents the estimated purchasing capacity and b0 represents the y intercept and as it is a positive relationship so we can place plus and b1 represents the slope and x represents 
the independent variable that is salary on the other hand if the independent variable that is salary increase and dependent variable purchasing capacity of the user decrease a negative regression line will be created a negative slope we can find out here the equation will be y will be considered as estimated purchasing capacity and v0 represents your y intercepts and the negative sign will be placed for negative slope v1 represents here the slope and x will be represented as independent variable that is salary so let's analyze the equation in the equation here the regression equation y is the estimated dependent variable x is the independent variable so y is equal to v0 plus b1 to x so this x the independent variable that means we can control it we can man manipulate it and we can modify or change it in the next video i will show you how to calculate linear regression using list squares method So guys this was for today give us your thoughts on this in the comment section and if you appreciate our content please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel share this video with your family and friends we will meet you soon in a next video thank you jai hind